Oh man, these iPods are hard to get into. There's no visible screws and no doubt a massive deterrent to anyone who wants to replace the battery in theirs or even to save one of them. You know, people will pull them out of a drawer, they'd see it's not quite working properly, they'd look at it and go, man, it must be so expensive to get into one of these and then they just throw them out instead. But just imagine you're like me way back. You find your old iPod in a drawer, it gives you the old sad face and before throwing it away, you figure, let's get into it. I want to see what's inside of one of these things. And you just dig through the house and you go, well, we need a tool to open it, right? What's the flattest tool in the house, mate? It's in the name, flathead screwdriver. It's, it's the first pick for a lot of people. And then upon that failing, you ask mum, mum, where's the butter knife? Yeah, that's much better, much thinner. Uh, you got a slightly better chance with this. Uh, some people mention in the Discord, like pocket knives and things. I'm not even gonna entertain using like a sharp knife like this. See these, where are they? See these marks here, see these scratches? I call those newbie marks, cause that's where I've slipped and then scratched it. And it, ugh, first gen classic and I dropped it several times. <laughs> that's what happens when it's a daily. But now imagine slipping with this. Besides mate, you call that a knife? This is a knife. And finally, just cause honestly, I can imagine my dad doing it. The snips or pliers or whatever. I have no faith for this, but you know, why not? No, I will not be opening my first gen classic just for a video. Mate, this is a teaching hospital now and we need some cadavers. Bring out your dad. Bring out your dad. Bring out your dad. Three iPods for three different tools. I can't rest until I open this iPod with this. Nor can I rest for this one with this and this old mate to open up this one. Look at that face. Hey. I dug through my wares and these are the three saddest iPods in my collection. They are beyond useless and beyond completely valueless, except for their screens. Their screens are useful. Everything else is just junk about them. This one, literally nothing works at all. I've tried for ages. Uh, I now don't care. So to make things a little bit more interesting, I want to do it as fast as I can. I'm not setting out to be completely malicious, but I want to get in quick and easy. So we're going to start off with the first one, the screwdriver, the classic, but I've got a pro strat in mind and I'm I'm slightly confident this thing is really thick. <laughs> I mean, look at the tolerance. Can you can you see a gap that fits this? Nah mate. Alrighty. I've got my pro strat ready. Three, two, screw it. Pro strat! Pro strat! Yeah! Pro strat! Oh! Come on! We got we got chunks coming out. Oh, yes. Stop. Oh, thanks to the pro strat. <laughs> quite, quite disrespectful. As you can see, someone has most certainly been in here. It's, yeah, damn bad piece of junk. That screen's good, though. Oh. Yes, I did it. I broke it. Oh. Sorry, iPad. <laughs> This iPad does work. 15.8 seconds, a good start. This is this is all doomed for the pile anyway. Now, normally when the screwdriver fails, you bust out your butter knife. Uh, this is a bit more flexible, so I don't know how well the Pro Strat's gonna work. I mean, that's made out of tool steel. I mean, stainless, rare. Pro Strat, Pro Strat. Here we go. Oh no. Oh. Oh no, oh yes! Yeah! Oh, I remember this one. It's got all this blue stuff in it. This came from the Ukraine of all places and it stinks like a port, like a fishery. <coughs> oh God, oh I hate this iPod. That absolutely stinks. Oh, look at that. If I didn't break that plastic bit, which you could replace, look at that, I bent that back. Hey, for how vicious I was, that's pretty good. Ah, oh, this video is nowhere near as destructive as I thought. What about this one? Uh, ooh, 
Not as well. That's pretty poor. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's pretty poor. And now, the last one. That's the face I'd be making. Okay. <laughs> now, like, talking about thickness, this isn't gonna work well. All right, uh, I'm, I'm still gonna go for the pro strat. It's gonna be the expert strat if I pull it off. All right, here we go. Ah, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, come on. Oh! With the power of gear. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna have to peel it like a can. Oh, it's it's still in really good nick, by the way. She's looking good. Oh! Come on, I'm so close. I'm just gonna cut my way down. It's like 41 degrees Celsius in this room as well. The aircon doesn't reach here. If you just give me your guts! This is dangerous now, this is really sharp. I hate this. Yes! Hey! Oh, gee! Yeah. Uh, and there it is in Freedoms. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look bad at all. HP. Oh, look, this is still good. Look, look you can fix this by going like, like that. And then look, that's good. And then, and you can repair these pins just by going like this. Uh, in fact, you can just, you can just take it off. And and that's good. God, there's rubble everywhere. Well, there's only one last way, which is the proper way. Well, you know, whatever. You want to find yourself one of these. They're like a dollar, or they come free with an iPod thing that you bought. If you find one that looks like this, you want to wrap this in tape. It is razor sharp. Not sponsored. They've got one that's got stuff on it already, so it's nowhere near as sharp. I, I have a scar right there <laughs> from one of these. It's no joke, they are that sharp. Check out how thin they are. It's like a knife. Oh man, I've already eaten up all my cadavers. Well, this guy. So the technique that you want to use, if you have a look, see, it's got all these hooks. So it's those hooks that clip under the case. You want to push these hooks down and it will pop out. Whereas what a lot of people do is they just stick it straight in and then just reef upwards. And that's when you completely destroy it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this into the line and make a cutting downwards motion until it gets in there, and then you're good to go. Mate. And apart from the horrific damage that I've done to it in past videos, look at that. In and out, heaps quick, with no damage at all. You go back where you belong. Good work. Oh, my dollary do moved. As for these guys, I'm afraid it's off to the pile.